I'm Megan McDavid and this is the Wolf News 4 on 1. Local and state fire officials say continuing dry weather has raised the danger of wildfires. Residents are being reminded that all brush burning is prohibited through May 14th. Violators could face a minimum of a $500 fine even for your first offense. A Saratoga County woman is heading to jail for stealing from the volunteer fire department where she was the treasurer. Virginia DiCaprio of Charlton was sentenced today to three to nine years for stealing $500,000 while serving as treasurer of the Charlton Fire District No. 1. DiCaprio used the money to buy iPods, plastic surgery, cigarettes and frozen food delivery. She'll also have to pay the money back. She pleaded guilty to failing to pay taxes on the st stolen money as well. A Lake Luzerne man has pleaded guilty to repeatedly sexually abusing a child. 38-year-old Michael Vidum Sr. was arrested in March for sexually abusing a 13-year-old girl. He pleaded guilty to a felony sexual conduct against a child. He could face up to seven years in state prison when he is sentenced on May 15th. Warren County Judge John Hall is set to announce his re-election bid. Hall will hold a campaign kickoff this Thursday in Queensbury. Judge Hall is seeking his second term as Warren County Judge and surrogate and acting Supreme Court Justice. He was first elected in 2003. We will be there and bring you more on Friday night's Look News. In Money Matter News tonight, the downward trend at the gas pumps has slightly reversed. According to the latest Lundberg survey, the national average of a gallon of regular is $3.54, which is up nearly a penny from two weeks ago. Higher prices of crude oil are, and are some of the factors in the slight increase. According to AAA, drivers in the capital region are paying about $3.57 a gallon. I'm Megan McDavid. That's your Look News 4 one and you're now up to date.